It's a gloomy day again. Yeah. Again, again. Just a gloomy day. But hey, got pre-workout. Got it ready. I gotta get mine ready. Got mine ready. So uh, uh, get at that, and then figure out stuff to talk about in this video. Yeah. Stuff. Stuff. Workouts. Things. Yeah. Guys, mornings are not magical, right? Tinkerbell says so. Mm. He doesn't agree. It's a three-day weekend. It is, I'll think of a Jeepuses. Yeah, which means um, we're gonna be doing things a little different for this one and also now dropping some of those uh, Thursday videos in the middle just talking about random stuff. Yeah. It's uh, a little extra content, but I figured today in this video for discussion, we should talk about what sort of motivates you to get fit. You know, everybody has that moment yeah. or something that's always been there or something. So I figure um, we'll discuss that and mix it up with some of those, uh, you know, things we talk about and... Um, in the magic of editing, you guys can see our before and afters of when our, we originally started our journeys. Mine yeah, that too. Astonishing. We'll do that. Um, we got some photos and uh, we'll mix in some of the workouts today because we are changing someone. And somewhere here on screen, I'll toss up some of the exercises we're doing uh, during them, obviously. And uh, today is, today's workout is the same as what you guys have seen before, but tomorrow, Tomorrow. Yeah, she starts a uh, new stuff towards the journey, and then um, mine are somewhat changing this week just because of uh, the nature of. Well, I don't want to get overworked and overwork the muscles with an extra workout day, so I took the last two off. So, gotta kind of just line it up properly. So, uh, we'll see. So yeah. let's uh, get to that stuff. And this stuff, because we that need stuff. it. That's right. Yeah, pre-workout. Waiting for to get attacked from the side from our cat. Yeah. Hi, buddy. You want to join in the discussion? Why you eat so much all day and cry about it? Yep. He's like, yeah, what, what? <laughs> okay, so the things that motivate you, get you going, get you to want to change, because that's kind of part of this discussion here. Um, We'll overlay some longer takes we did today at the gym, just doing some stuff, so. And also it kind of got us started and, yeah. and that. Um, I guess I'll start with the reason why I wanted to get into the fitness world. Um, we went for a walk years ago with our child up to what we call um, Ethan Allen Tower. It's not even like that far of uh, an incline. It's, it's really like an only like a 20 minute um, 20 walk. 20 minute? Okay, as slow as I was going. I but. used to jog up that when I was like 15, 16 because we would play airsoft there and we would literally constantly run up and down. It's maybe six minutes if you're taking forever um, to jog up and like, all right, I'm having a good time. It's, it's quick. Yeah, so, and it's in a little, only a little in incline and literally like, we barely got out of the car and barely even started the walk. And I was panting. Um, at that point, I was almost 300 pounds and it was ridiculous. Um, and I was like, I have to make sure that I'm able to be healthy and be able to like help our child and things like that. So that's what finally got me to the point of, I'm like, I can't even walk up this little simple thing and be there for my child and be able to like play with her. So I was like, all right, nope, done. Like I need to get healthy. I need to be in a better state. Um, and yeah, that was that's the reason why I started. Uh -huh. um, I guess for me, it was just kind of influence. Uh, all the way back to as far as I can remember being young, it was always the action stars. You know, you had your Jean-Claude Van Damme's, your Mm -hmm. Sylvester Stallone's, all that. I was always into, yeah, into the action movie. So getting older, I got into pro wrestling and all that. And it was always one of those things. And when I had my growth spurt from like sixth to seventh grade. Your foot and a half. <laughs> yeah, if you look at those pictures, people are like, I can't believe that's you. I literally went from tiny to big. And then from there on, I was known as the tall skinny guy because that's what I always was. So even if kids in school didn't know me, they'd just be like, who did what? The tall skinny guy. Okay, so that kind of made me always want to push towards it, but it was always hard to find that 
I want to do it or how do I do it and you're kind of like I don't want to look foolish and at that time mind you even like 15 years ago if you were looking up like oh what should I do in the gym it was all wrong Oh, yeah. We all know today it was all wrong because it used to be like, all right, Monday you're going in there, you're doing chest. You're going to do 80 sets of chest and then you're going to wait till next Monday. Now we know that's not correct, but nobody was there to tell us or scream at us on the internet to do it wrong. So it was kind of also scary to get into it. And to me, it was just kind of that maybe I don't want to be tall, skinny guy anymore. Maybe I want to be tall, skinny, in shape guy. Yeah. And now it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, that, that works for me. So. I guess that was kind of the thing. So it was all sorts of influences from... That is a lot of weight. What? The more weight I cut, the, str the less strong. The How does that go? The less strong, the... Uh, I, can't, I can't remember the word right now. The um, weaker I'm getting. The weaker. Jesus. Like, about a month ago, that was pretty easy to rep out like 8, 10. Oof, no. Losing like 9 pounds. Mm -hmm all sorts of everything around you know yeah. um it, it is what it is um uh, but i think there is something in what you said you know when i see people that we know or just out people out in public and like you see them struggling to play with their kids because their kid has energy oh all kids have energy and they're like slow down stop and you're just like bro you're just sitting there like pounding mcdonald's in your face and your kid's excited running around and you can't keep up with them it's like ooh, you know it, it it you pass that bad influence down and you can mm -hmm. see that it's like a pattern you know like because the child looks at their parent as their idol like. exactly so they they get influenced by that and it's kind of just like you, you know one of those things as well where you want to be a good example for your kid those people around you maybe inspire others yeah. um you know it all kind of goes together and it's it is one of those things that I think, like you said, you, you come to that realization. At some point, it's just going to hit you being like, oof, maybe it's a thing that happens with your health or something, you know, like maybe you go to the hospital, you're like, why well, am I having trouble breathing? They're like, well, you're 380 pounds. What do you think? You know, it's like, yeah. ugh. There's a lot of aha kinds of moments, and we have a lot of friends who have those too. Like, um, another female friend of mine, she had the same thing. She had two kids, and she was like, oh my god like when they're babies that's one thing the moment they start moving it is literally like a non-stop yeah. and, and a lot of people who don't have kids they are sitting there like well how do parents have so much energy they don't we really do not um it is a facade um but there's also a lot of the times like you you can't keep up with them and it is mostly because of your own health so that was one thing like I wanted to be able to go forward and be healthier and I also didn't want my child to go through like a lot of the the picking on that I did. I was always tormented and bullied because I was always the taller kid but also the heavier set girl. I was never in my entire life the little tiny skinny girl. I always was heavier set. I was always um, taller than all the boys until they finally hit their growth spurts. Um, so I didn't want our child to go through that same type of thing. So the earlier I was able to be happier, be healthier, it was able to reflect and our child was able to grow in that same way and be like, oh, like my parents are both fitness nerds. She doesn't want to be like a fitnessy person, but she does want to be healthier. She realizes when at certain points of her life being like, oh, well, I'm not happy with with what's going on, why? Oh, it's because all I do is this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. Like, she talks to us about it, which is great. And we're able to sit there and be like, we went through it. Like, yeah. I went through multiple ups and downs and fluctuations and- Everybody does, you know, there's oh, different yeah. factors. Uh, there's always outside forces that can pull on you. And I think also as part of fitness, you have to find that, uh, I guess commitment um you can't and there are people that are like this like they'll go for a certain amount of time they'll burn up some strength they'll see some results then they'll stop then they go back in you're not going back to where you were nope. you know 
and that's just not gonna happen. Then you get disappointed, then they'll stop again and start and go and start and go. And that's a natural course of life. But at some point, I think as you get older, you need to take your own health and well-being more into consideration because, I mean, every year is another year that's ticking away. So would you rather add a couple years on or would you rather eat a couple pounds of bacon in a week because, because, right? It, like, yeah. It's, it's almost like, or do you want to be happy right now and in the long run suffer from it? Or take control of your life. Um, a lot of people, they hear that and they're like, I do take control of my life. Yes and no. Like you have to think of what your actions are doing today, how they're going to affect you in the future. Yeah. Like everybody knows if you smoke cigarettes, for instance, it there are scientific facts that it will decrease your life. And if you sit there and you just decrease the amount that you have, you prolong your life. And again, it's not for all. Some people oh, yeah. live healthy lives, but everybody's different. And if you see something is physically hurting you, you know, make a change. And it's one of those things where tons of people in fitness say it. Why is it now the body acceptance movement is the only movement that doesn't actually move and just eats and drinks the bacon, you know, right after. They're like, go to drinking the fat, they're like, oh, this is good for you because I'm accepting my body. You shouldn't push that onto everybody because literally doctors will tell you that's not healthy. Yeah. It is not healthy. And it's like, you know, you got at some point wake up to it and like look at it and be like, am I doing this? Can I make a smart change that doesn't affect a lot. And again, I eat everything I want to. You guys see what we're buying in some of these videos and shopping hauls and um, you know, we're, we'll show because one of the mini videos we're gonna do because after this we're going for our first dinner out since before the yeah. breakdown of the world. So you guys will see what we're eating and how it's different. Like, we're gonna make smart choice when we're there. Obviously yeah. I'm gonna enjoy it. But I'm not gonna eat that every day. No. Nope. Again, it's a it's a difference. So you gotta find that moment, and I think everybody has that at some point. Oh yeah. You have a moment where you wake up, you go, you know what? Maybe I need to grow up. And it comes in different shapes, you know, sizes. It comes at you for different angles in your life. Um, for me, it was another one that was like video games. I still play tons of video games. I buy them all. But you know what happens? If I get to a point where I'm like, I'm playing a lot of Xbox right now. And if I get to a point where I'm just like, I think I'm done with this game. I just uninstall it and I'm done. Other people have to finish it yeah. because I spent 60 bucks. Then they have to do everything in it, get every trophy, achievement or whatever because I gotta get value out of it. But that's bad as well. Like yeah. there's all sorts of addictions and things that can be, and you know, you can always play around with what it is, but um, at some point you just gotta wake up to it and you gotta be like, well, what do I wanna change with whatever my problem is, you know? <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and the thing is, is like fitness obviously is not going to be for everybody. No. Um, not everybody's going to want to be fitness, but there's always other different things that you can live a healthier lifestyle. Even if it's just literally like if you're constantly always at home, just leave your house for a little bit. Yeah. Like that is honestly a mental stimulation of a positive energy, leaving your house and getting a breath of fresh air. Like that is a healthy change. A 30 minute walk. Oh my God. Yeah. That's, yeah. That goes a long way. If you, especially if you start doing it every day, you know, you're going to see a change. Your, your body's going to see a change. You're going to feel better. So that's... yeah. And just like he was saying with video games, it's like playing one less hour of video games a day will help stimulate your brain in a different way because it's it has to find something else to stimulate it and it could be reading it could be going out for a walk it could be just going to us walking around a store even yeah. like we sit there and we change up what stores we go to because it's a different mental stimulation yeah. like we'll go to walmart most every weekend but you're like we're like okay you know we're gonna go to target it's yeah. completely different mental stimulation and those are the types of positive changes that people can go and you'll see they're like, oh, wow, I'm leaving my house more frequently. Why? Because I want to stimulate my brain in a different way. Yeah. Oh, I'm instead of this store, I'm going to go to this store. Like just those little changes that aren't even like gym related. It's just a yeah. better, healthy way of living your life. And that's where a lot of people need to and hopefully will be able to get to. It's like, yes, you can have body positivity, but if it's affecting your health and your mental well-being, 
It's not a body positivity. Yeah. If something is It's being, a band-aid. Yeah, if something is having a negative influence on you, then it's probably not good in anything in life, yeah. any single thing. So um And it's like we have we've had friends who we only talk to in a small amount of ways instead of like being with them all the time like we used to. And it's because of the fact that we realized the toxicity in their lives was starting to seep into ours and making our lives not happy, not healthy, not the way we would like it. And it's not us being selfish. We have to think of ourselves and our yeah. healthy mentalities. And if we have all this like, toxicity from the outside coming in constantly you have to be like you know what we're gonna put a pause on this we're still friends but we can't be constantly around each other because you're negatively affecting our lives it's, and that is yeah. okay people don't understand how that is actually okay to be able to remove the negativity out of your life mm -hmm. in any situation in and, many situations that's just yeah. a smart way to go again it doesn't have to be people it can be a little thing so um, like yeah. my rule is for video games every hour of fitness i do i do about 45 minutes of gaming so i work out four to five hours a week that's fine i also go for a lot of walks i don't really count those because i enjoy walking like if my feet didn't hurt after two and a half, three hours walking a day, I would walk another three hours. I just like walking, you know, and enjoying music while I do it or- Or a podcast. And like, yeah. and that's a great way for like him to be able to be like, I'm doing this, but I'm also doing this. Like yep. he's able to catch up on new music, new podcasts and everything. Yeah, I also do a lot of like scientific brain. stuff and like NASA and stuff. It's just like, oh, this is cool for me, you know, and I'm enjoying it while I'm out there. So that's mm -hmm. another thing, like toss on something, like your favorite album. Go for a walk. By the time it's done, you're going to be like, oh, that was 45 minutes. Wow. It, yeah. It's quick. It's, it's really quick. You don't even notice it. Music for me is like what really drives certain parts of my day. Like I want to relax. I'm going to put um, chill synth wave or I'm going to put meditation music on that helps my brain shut down and relax. If I'm really in an upbeat mood and I need to like do cleaning around the house, I'll put like Sean Paul or some like old 90s. Yeah, oh my God, the fact that I have to call it old, old 90s music mm -hmm. um, or even 80s, I'll really go yeah. back. Um, because of the fact that those songs and that music like puts me in a different mood. So find those little things that yep. be, are able to do that. Like my gym playlist is a mashup of different things, but it's all stuff that gets me moving. It gets my like, excitement not bound yeah. so that's how like my playlist is you listen to mine compared to his completely different we're actually um, in, in a few videos we'll do that we'll yeah. sit here and we'll talk about kind of what we listen to in the gym we'll do a gym playlist of some of the artists and stuff and you guys will see how different it is and maybe how that goes but yeah um i guess generally to wrap up the video uh if you've had that wake up call good for you yeah and if you haven't um Maybe just consider something, right? Like, again, we're not telling you go to the gym, push an hour a day, push every day, you know, start slow, go for a walk, see how it affects you. If you're sitting there on your couch or in your computer chair and you have trouble getting up off your couch and you start breathing heavy, think about what just happened and think about how maybe you're being a bad influence on those around you or your kid looking up to you and go, maybe for the sake of my kid's health, I should fix my health. That should be enough of a wake up call. If that's not a wake up call, I, you're lost, honestly. That's, that's gotta be a loss. It's like, I don't know what to tell you. And you see that everywhere. So don't, don't contribute to that. Cause life is short. It is. And it what, you know, make the best of it and try to live a long life. Cause what else you got? You know, like there's nothing more important than, cause once you're dead, you're dead. So why not want to live longer and healthier and, and be better? Like, I can't believe I look at myself and I'm in my mid thirties and I look at everybody around me who I went to school with. I'm like, what happened? We see, it's really sad that we're just, we're barely in our thirties. Like I'm yeah. barely just starting the thirties. You're not even to your mid thirties yeah. yet. And we see our friends that are the same age as us or even younger deteriorating yeah. and it's it, it's sad um and we understand that they have had very different life stresses than we have and we've had different life stresses than them and it's 
it's honestly sad. Um, and but the problem is, is we can be there as much as we can. But a, a really famous quote, honestly, you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make it drink. Like it, it is a true statement. You can always be there and help them. But the first step is honestly helping yourself. Like if you're thirsty, drink water, like <laughs> go and drink that water. Like, Don't I, like water. Zero calorie, zero <laughs> sugar soda. Yeah, seriously. I have a cup of each at the same time and I'm like, oh, I'm good. And then later I'll have Just, another thing. Yeah. yeah, zero calorie Gatorade. Like yeah. those zero those zero calorie things are great ways. <gasps> or but water so cool, oh, so kill me. And that pound of bacon won't? Yeah, seriously. Okay, all right, all right. All right. The, the pound of bacon is fine, but the zero sugar soda will kill me, help me. Okay. There are people out there that have There are, themselves. legit, that's, that's a, a legit thing. There, there's a reason why there's a meme of, I of uh, I want a quarter, or double quarter pounder with bacon, large fry, oh, and I'm trying to watch my figure, I want a Diet Coke. Like, there's a reason why that is a meme because it's it's trying to tell you, like, there, there's certain things you have to change, but if you're not literally changing the 99%, yeah. and you only change one, and it is steps though. You can change that 1%, mm -hmm. then that 1% will turn to two, and that two will turn to three, and like you'll hopefully yeah. be able to continue on a positive journey. Um, and mind you, like I've talked about it before. I have gone off, I've come back. Um, in the end though, my goal is always the same. I want to be healthier. And even if I take like before a couple months off, I am miserable in those couple of months because I've realized all the hard work that I did before you just, set you me can back. Undo it real quick. Um, real quick. It is honestly faster to undo what you did than to get to oh, where yeah. that is. And I have learned that I have not actually taken any breaks. Um, it's been a couple. It's almost been two years because yeah. like I, I'm. If I'm tired, I will still go and I will push myself to do at least something. Will I go less weights? Yes. Will I maybe take a, like a 10 minute less of a walk? Yes, but I'm still making sure I'm going and I'm doing what I can to better myself, better my health, because it is a positive influence. I've had friends just join the gym because they realized like, oh, you're looking great. You're looking like, you. can you help me? And there we go. So it's- you know, I mean, I had my ankle sprained, terrible. Messed up my entire leg. Yeah. I was in there as soon as I could get on crutches, back in there bench pressing, doing pull-ups and everything. You can always work around it. Always, yep. There's a dude currently at um, Snap when I go with my coworker, and he, uh, I think, broke his ankle um, skateboarding. Broke his ankle skateboarding, and he still goes to the gym, and he still does his upper body because he can. So it's not, so he's not losing that progress, and it's yep. also for us, it's a stress relief. And that's the thing. Um, well, I guess we'll talk about that in another video. Yeah. Relieving stress with the gym, because there's a lot to oh that gosh, and why yeah. it actually helps because of many reasons. But um, I guess we'll end it there. So we kind of talked about why, the benefits and everything. So I guess that's yeah. kind of been a good um, discussion, if you will. Yeah. And CC joined for the end of it, so there and you go. And him and his all of his hair, like yep. he's, he's shedding. Over. It's It's summertime, so. He's getting his summertime yeah. shed. <laughs> so now we're gonna go get ready for a dinner. So um, that might already be out, I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. Look for it. Later. Hi guys. Do you wanna say bye, Cece? Bye. You just want food. Yep. <laughs>